frankly guys <laughs> last night's jacuzzi party was one of the most boring ones for the season oh god i was just i was just like this i was just looking and it was very obvious that the housemates too, they were not really into the mood they were not into the vibe but then little, little things happened here and there but overall it was just so boring at some point it felt as though the fun was being forced yes and ah oh god guys it was just a waste of two hours you know what just watch to the end of this video as i give you the details of the little little dramatic event that happened here and there during the jacuzzi party hey welcome back to my youtube channel my name is glory elijah and this is frankly speaking with glory i am the girl with the t guys quickly i just want to remind you all that today is saturday and by 3 p.m wat we will be having our youtube live stream so please do not miss out. Do not miss out. You totally want to be a part of today's conversation. It's going to be mind blurry. All right. That's it. Let's just get into the video quickly. On the second thought, I think I have ideas why last night's jacuzzi party was boring, why the housemates were not in the mood, why some people were looking really, really sad and bored at the same time. So let's start with um, Sasuke. Guys, normally, um, when Jay Paul is around to dance with Sasuke, to give her all the attention that she needs, guys, we'll see that Sasuke gets into this very, very bubbly mood. You know, she would rock the party, she would be very, very excited. But then, sadly, since um, Sunday that Jay Paul was evicted from the house, She's been very, very moody. Though sometimes when they have tasks, you see her switch out of her moodiness to, you know, engage the rest of the housemates in the task. And luckily for her, she's been winning a lot. As a matter of fact, the housemates were talking about how Sasuke is currently the richest housemate in the house, monetarily. Now, not by a bag naira or BB tokens. Her winnings is up to about 8.3 million or thereabouts at the moment. So she's been winning a lot, yes. If you ask me, J. Paul's eviction from the Shanghai Eye Mansion kind of brought about some massive fortune to Sasuke and some other misfortune of sadness of loneliness because she goes to bed on time, goes to bed on time, she's sometimes constantly wrapped beneath her duvet, brooding, thinking. But aside the sad part of it, you know, she's been winning. She's been winning. She's been very, very active with the task. And of course, Cross that used to give her attention, we know that Cross has totally moved on. As a matter of fact, Cross has even moved on from Angel because last night, Cross was even more focused on playing with the water guns that Big Brother provided the housemates to add to the fun. But sadly, the toy guns did not really add to the fun at all. But then later, we saw Cross, you know, kissing Queen and trying to dance with Queen. But then Queen was avoiding Cross like a plague, and I'll tell you why. Guys, if you cast your mind back to the video I uploaded yesterday on my channel, I told you all about how Cross had learned about Queen's achievement, her stories, you know, what makes her thick, what makes her who she is today. You know, her abusive relationship, her financial worth, the team she has outside, all that she has going on for her outside the house. And now he had declared to Queen that Queen was his number one woman in that house moving on from yesterday. So we were expecting to see some kind of deep leveled connection between Cross and Queen during the jacuzzi party. But guys, guess what? White Money decided to spoil the old deal. <laughs> White Money has spent the most part of yesterday evening and even during the jacuzzi party enlightening Queen about the need to maintain decorum and the need for her to try and remain sane and sober and not get too tipsy or drunk. So her has not to misbehave. Because guys, last week's jacuzzi party, it was wild. It was like these housemates were acting an X-rated movie. It was crazy. There were so many things that happened that Coyote did not show us, but then they were revealed on Showmax. Guys, I'm just gonna show you all a hint of what happened. Guys, <laughs> last week's jacuzzi party was like Queen came with a mission. Guys, she was literally twerking on all the guys that were available to be twerked upon. She twerked on Saga, she twerked on Pere, and she left no stones unturned. She was literally dry humping these guys. 
and trust me it was a very very erotic sight to behold so white money had witnessed all of that and aside that the kissing scene she had with cross outside cross had touched her in different places you know it was very very erotic to be very honest so white money was basically trying to look out for queen and so all through yesterday in fact from when they finished their task in the arena the arena games yes white money has there advising her that queen you've told me about your future plans you've told me about what you want to do with your life so the fact that you want to go into politics into leadership into government in nigeria you must be able to maintain decorum and that was why he kept on advising queen advising queen don't go wild don't do crazy things so that it does not affect your future and guys i really appreciated white money for you know trying to restrain queen last night because to be very honest this is nigeria in nigeria even though you entertain people from now to day 72 on big brother show you might want to go into politics and then some petty people go and start digging into your background and then they will not start bringing footages that oh is this not a person is this that da is this a loose woman that was come and lead us that kind of thing so white money had a point but then in the midst of all of that goodwill we sure did miss out on a lot of content <laughs> yes because we know fully well that if queen had you know joined the rest of the female housemates in dancing trust me hey last night would have been fire it would have been hot but then I really, really appreciated the fact that White Money was able to talk sense into her because guys, trust me, when Queen wants to go wild, she goes all the way wild. And then Angel was dancing with, um, what's his name? Yusuf, yeah? And they didn't really, really do much, yeah? They didn't really do much. I even noticed as well that Angel did not expose her boobs today. Hi! But she exposed the bomb as usual. But guys, that brings me to something that Sasuke revealed to us during the week. So we know that since um, I think Monday or Sunday, Angel has been kind of sad and moody and then the live nominations came up, she was nominated for eviction and then she became extra moody. So something happened. If you recall, on Sunday, I think, I'm trying to remember if it was Sunday, um, Angel has shown us her punani, like a vagina, like just walked out of the bathroom area, you know, not wearing any underwear, any lingerie down there and it was live on camera we had seen it live and clear so after the live nominations that she was very very sad she was moody and then she was crying she was just basically having a terrible day um according to sasuke big brother had someone down into the diary room and she was wearing a very very re revealing bomb shot like her two butt cheeks were out there in the open so she had gone into the diary room and then when she came out she changed immediately into her long skirt if you guys remember there was this long side slit skirt that she was wearing so sasuke was explaining to was her name nini that something had probably happened that biggie called her into the diary room oh the moment she came out she changed and then guys if you noticed angel has been trying so hard because it's been really difficult for her she's been trying really hard to cover you know herself even though most of the clothes she have according to her they're all these are shower shower clothes she has been trying really hard to cover her body cover her boobs so if you notice guys she's been trying in that regard so it just, i just put two and two together and for oh maybe biggie had told her that hey madam <laughs> your pussy is all over the internet too so you have to be careful with the way you dress in this house because people are dragging you for it probably when i saw angel covered top wise I wasn't really surprised because, of course, I knew that she was trying really hard to cover herself and that she didn't really go wild. She didn't dance all those like, erotic dances. She didn't open her, you know, pussy. She didn't do all those nasty things. As a matter of fact, she even avoided cross because the truth is, whenever Angel is around cross, she gets really, really freaky. So both of them were kind of avoiding each other. And of course, I feel like cross, because of the declaration he had made to Queen, he was basically trying to stick to his words but then sadly white money was seriously being the moral police <laughs> for queen so queen kind of felt caged she felt bored but then she didn't really do a lot at the party she just danced for only a few seconds and then she went back to go and meet white money where he was grilling the chicken and now guys <laughs> let's talk about our favorite couple in the house or should i say least favorite couple in the house I'm talking about saga and nini so it might seem as though because of the fact that saga betrayed big brother just for nini it might seem as though that that has kind of increased nini's affection for saga just a tiny little bit because <laughs> as usual they were grinding each other 
but Nini allowed Saga to go the extra mile. As a matter of fact, she went to remove her bikini cover and allowed Saga to rock her bum bum, to touch her body. But then when she got tipsy, she was very, very protective of her skin, not even wanting Saga to even touch her at all. But guys, <laughs> it might seem as though Nini at this point in time has kind of forgotten about her boyfriend out there. I mean, her actions say so, but her words say otherwise. But let's just watch out for that space. Now, moving on to the event that would have cost us some dramatic content last night. Cross and Emmanuel. The Cross and Emmanuel almost had a serious altercation because Cross had playfully sprinkled water on Emmanuel's crotch area. So that kind of pissed off Emmanuel. And guys, for the first time, we saw Emmanuel shout and yell at Cross. Like he was very, very upset. Even the Coros were shocked that, wow, this guy can actually get upset. Guys, to be very honest, I feel like because everybody is probably used to Emmanuel not being the yelling kind of person, not being the kind of person that gets easily offended, <laughs> maybe they maybe cross thoughts that oh I'm just gonna play with this guy and do stuff and he's not gonna get upset. But Emmanuel was kind of upset because he had no plans of getting into the water. So the fact that Cross had sprinkled water on his crotch area, he found it kind of offensive because he had actually warned Cross. And also he was wearing his microphone. Guys, remember the reason why Big Brother gave JMK a strike? She had worn her microphone and the transmitter into the jacuzzi, thereby causing some sort of damage to the transmitter. Yeah, so Emmanuel Licorius, they did not have plans of going into the water, so they were very, very careful to, um, not to allow water to even touch them so as not to affect their transmitter. So that was one of the reasons why Emmanuel really fled up. He was really upset because for him, dude, I'm up for eviction. I don't even know if I'm going home and you're pouring me water. What if the microphone gets bad? Then I catch a strike, you know, that kind of thing. So that kind of subdued cross and it almost kind of spoiled his fun. So guys, overall, that also contributed to the mood of the event. You know, everybody wasn't just dancing, everybody was just moody. And then worst of all, after the party, they all went to bed early. <laughs> there was no games, no truth or their games, nothing. And then I'm like, okay, well, I feel like the, the fact that it's getting towards the end of the season is beginning to tell on the housemates' mood. They are now probably under pressure, kind of tensioned, and they're kind of looking forward to the show ending already. What do you think? I don't know, but guys, just go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, all right? And I'll see you 3 p.m. today during our YouTube live stream. Do not miss out. Today's conversation is going to be mind-blowing. I'll see you guys shortly. Bye.